Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a new microphone. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me over this heat gun. We got a uh, 2013 Toyota Camry hybrid. It's a real nice car, uh, bright silver paint. And uh, I'm just getting it warm. Let's see how warm we're getting it. We're at 102, 101, 108, 117, 114. Let's shine it right there. 113, it's gonna get a little hotter. I wanna start tapping some brows. Um, let's take those gloves off. I was just gonna try using gloves, but they get in my way, honestly. So I took uh, the little plug out, the little plastic clip from out underneath here. I can access this dent. I can feel all the way around it. We are gonna try using a glue puller, but first things first, we're gonna get right in on this brow and make some nice taps right along this, this body line where this brow pinches the highest. So at this point in the video is when I say I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on this video. I really do. Um, if you would hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate that. That helps out the channel. Um, we love to see the community grow. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm testing out the microphone for the first video that we're ever shooting with a remote mic and tapping down these little high ridges right here where this front fascia kind of the dent pushed down okay we're back we had a little phone call i'm still just kind of tapping on this uh high ridge here before i make any pushes the metal's kind of cooled off i was talking to a gentleman with a dent so um making some hefty pushes through here hopefully you guys can hear me just fine with the new microphone and I don't know how it cancels sound while I'm tapping but basically I'm looking into this guys and I see it's line 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 and then as they come up to right here it just pinches out like crazy so we basically got to lower this whole area starting from here going to here give this area a little bit of give. Many puns intended. Okay, I'm gonna kind of get down here and see a little bit more angle. I know it looks like we're at a wholesale dealership and uh, we are, but this is a high quality job that we're gonna do here. We do them anyway, but this one we're just gonna get looking real nice. And uh, I'm gonna get it just a little bit warm. I've got my uh, Scorpion butane powered heat gun heated up there. And I'm probably just gonna get this to about the 70, 80 percent, 80 degree mark. Let's see where we're at. We're at 100 now, so let's just stop. Yeah, and now I'm gonna drop a tab in there. I'm thinking I want a crease tab, maybe a little bit bigger. Here we go. Probably going to take this crease tab and put it right there and try to get the majority of that meat out. I might even do it right in the middle. And this tab has some glue already on it. I don't know if this is a little trick or not, but you can kind of tap the head of the I just put it right in the middle there, guys, and we're going to give it a nice soft push. But you can tap the head of the glue gun onto your kind of stuck glue to warm it up a little bit and then put more on it, and it adheres to that glue, and it helps you pull it all off at once. So it's kind of an easy way to clean it, but it takes more glue to do it. So make sure that this is all nice and tight. I think uh, the little O-ring trick is what I'm going to do. And let's give this thing a nice yank. I think that moved some metal, guys. Oh, yeah, it pulled it up. There we are. Knocking over my stuff. And see, it still didn't leave me with a clean tab. So I'm just going to hit it up with some ISO spray it the right way. 
Uh, let that just kind of sit, do its magic. Maybe just do this, clean it off right now because I'm a little bit OCD about my tabs. I like to keep them nice and clean. That way they work the best. I know you guys are like, take the glue off the car. I want to see what it looks like. I do too. Let's do it. Okay. A little bit of 100%, 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. Comes off like butter. I think we want to give this another pull. Let's give it another little round tab. And I'm going to use this brand new tab that I have. It looks like kind of a cheaper one. It doesn't say Keiko or anything. It's just a one we got with this little puller. This little guy right here, which is pretty neat. Um, just to make a one solid pull. I mean, how well is it going to work? Maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll try it on this one. I don't think we got enough time yet. 10, 9, 8, 7. Are these things on? Okay, let's try it. I'll go from the bottom. <laughs> kind of works. On a larger dent, larger tab, it might work better. But let's see if it pulled anything. That's the, the truth. The actual uh, slide hammer is what I should have used on that one. It moved it a little bit. Let's get back in there with one more uh, real good pull. I'll try. I'll try this little football tab. It's a mini crease tab, and I'm going to come right in the middle of it, like that, right in that dent. I kind of went sideways with it rather than up and down. Um, Either way, I've got full access from underneath. Let's see what this glue pull looks like before this video gets too long. And then I'll come back in here with tools and finish off the rest of this. And I'll bring you in for some of that in, in a bit here. Let's make this pull. Where's my slidey? There it is. Now I'm going to give it a pretty nice yank. Right about here. First time I've ever used that little mini crease tab. See how that did. Turn this thing back up, right? I'd say it pulled a little bit. But what I'm gonna do basically, guys, is get my tools in here. I'm gonna tap this down, either with the plastic or the metal, either way. Plastic just kind of gives me a little bit more of a bounce. Um, the metal is uh, a lot more definite, defined taps. But I'll come back with you guys in just a bit and show you a little bit more progress. Okay, guys. I thought I'd bring you in for some of the tapping on this brow up top and maybe a little bit through this middle. Uh, I don't know, wherever it pinches, like I say, I'm just finding that highest point. And I'm gonna turn the glue gun off at the moment. If there's one pull I wanna make, I'll grab this tiny little tab. Um, where's it at? Find it, find it, find it. There's a small one, but I want, there we go, mini Keiko, my smallest tab. I'm gonna kinda load it up with this last push of glue here and really drop it right in to that one. Um, the metal's kind of warm. I don't know. Let's see how warm it is. 78, 79. That's perfect. Um, make a couple taps while I'm waiting for this glue to harden. Cool. And these are just the ones that I'm going to have to come through and tap until they're straight, guys. So let's make that pull. And I think I was going to say I'll use the mini lifter. And yeah, I am. I'm going to use the mini lifter. 
because I'm not worried about crushing these these uh, brows right now. There's no way that this is going to do that. It's just one little tiny dent, but I wanted a real directed push or pull. I always said push. I'm used to pushing, guys. Let's give it a snap. Okay, and everything else I can literally come back underneath with my tools. My little oil sprayer is stopping to keep its pressure and that's because I use isopropyl alcohol and it. it will break the seal after a while. So I've had this thing for a good five or six months, maybe a year. And uh, it was a good, good $8. So I'm gonna tap the rest of these out. Ooh, it looks like there's a little high spot that's probably either from a rock or something. It wasn't my pushes because I haven't made any pushes yet. So I don't know what hit it on the inside there, but let's tap that down. And uh, finally, the first video in a long time that I don't have to say excuse the background noise if there is any. It's uh, just normal cars driving and planes flying. So hopefully this microphone works and uh, you guys are getting something out of this video, at least in entertainment value, right? But I'm up here and there's kind of like a little tight river and then another one right through here. And this little tight area up top right here that I basically have to baby until I see those lines straighten out, uh, widen up where they're slim and where they're, where they're too wide. I obviously don't tap. I'm going to come in behind them and push. So I'll come back with you guys and show you the final result in just a bit. Okay, and now let's put this thing back together. I think it looks pretty good. It's got a little high. Let me give it a couple more taps. Uh, welcome back. Once again, we're at the end of this dent. It's looking pretty darn nice. I've got a little high right here. Um, oh, I should realize I don't have to shout anymore. But, uh, hey, that's too loud on you, those caps. We can look right into this thing. I'll see right where I gotta go. Make a couple real nice taps through the middle here and on this one it looks really good I was just gonna say let's pull them in for the putting the clip back in and I'm I'm sticking this piece of plastic up underneath the way it's supposed to go um, actually no it sits on the outside like that no it doesn't it goes up underneath so let's get that up there and then stick the clip in. There we go. A little piece of plastic goes up underneath. Wipe her off. That was a big dent. Um, that one came out pretty darn nice. Uh, hopefully you guys all like uh, what you saw here today. Um, this was half our day. We got a little bit more to do on this car. So if we have any more videos, uh, that we can just knock out real quick. There's a couple little dings on the other side that we'll probably make a video on. But uh, other than that, I sure hope you guys have enjoyed this little experience. I sure did. Um, otherwise, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.